it. Okay. And then, yeah, like when Extra beat Foe uh, last year's Expand Gong, that was a huge event, and suddenly everyone knew Extra. And everyone's paying attention to Australia at that point, which is like awesome. For, to at see. least for that moment, we had all eyes on us. Yeah. Which was really cool. All right. So anyway, it looks like we are ready to hop into our first match of pools, our first match of the event that we're going to be able to see. I recognize at least one of these players on screen. Booty is Meat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Currently known as Booty Meat. Uh, <laughs> he used to go by Buster. He okay. was a Link main in okay. Smash 4. Quite a strong player in the Sydney region. Uh, do you know who's playing these days? Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't really, I haven't seen him play that much. I don't think he comes to the weeklies and monthlies that I go to. So okay. uh, yeah, I'm more enough. based around like Sydney CBD. I'm guessing he's either from the Newcastle or Wollongong region. I'm not, not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know he's New South Wales at the very least. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was really interesting to play against actually in Smash, in Smash 4 at least. It was really fast paced Link main. Like to be in your face, which yep. seems counterintuitive for Link's projectile heavy gameplay usually, but it, Worked out for Just him. Just like uses those projectiles to get in and yeah, hit you with that big sword. Add a lot of pressure, get in there, get in your face, and hit you with the big sword that yeah. is so strong and it's, so deadly. It is insanely strong in this game. Sometimes I can't believe I'm dying at like 80 with the uppie in oh, the air. It's yeah, crazy. absolutely. So yeah, if he's playing Link again this game, he'd be a, in a much better place than he used to be because Link is so much stronger in this game. Um, so, looks like we're going to Smashville. Smashville, the choice, the Starterville. Starterville. <laughs> See, in SA, Smashville's not that popular, actually. Ah, oh, he's playing Young Link. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, Young Link, definitely a character that plays exactly like I said uh, he used to in Smash 4. It's a character with a lot of projectiles that adds pressure and lets them get in your face. Yeah, and Young Link, of course, versus Incineroar. It seems a bit tough for Incineroar because Incineroar is quite slow. I believe has the lowest movement speed in the game. Yeah, so. slowest character in the game. Um, wants to be in their face to give those big hits, but doesn't have a lot of capacity to get around most of Link's projectiles. He does have the Revenge, which is going to allow him to, you know, at least threaten Link if he's throwing out too much, because that gives him a big power-up every time he gets it. Yep, of course. But it does, it does still mean he has to get a hit. Yeah. Which is going to be the hard part. So, at, at the moment, oh, as we jump we straight go. into the game here, it looks like Boonami is just zoning him out with those projectiles, but Gerald getting back onto the ledge with that up B, great time, great yep. spacing with that one. The up air, throwing him off the edge into disadvantage. Gets that revenge stack, as you said. Yep. So now, now he's got to really watch out for the side B especially. He's going to get about 40-odd percent if he gets the command grab off of side B. Oh. Gets Fun the grab. factor of revenge. It will go away as soon as Incineroar gets grabbed. Yep. So that's the quick way to get rid of it. It does mean you have to get close to Incineroar while it's powered up. So it's a bit threatening, but it can be gotten rid of. And throwing out that jab there to get the, uh, the get off me option, you know. Oh, yep. great revenge stack there. Oh, Hits got him. him. I think that's going to take the stock. Oh, my oh God. My Killed him at 60. Oh, that that's is full rage and revenge in Cinderella. Scary Utterly as. ridiculous. Now, this is a common issue that a lot of younglings face. He doesn't have a lot of just raw kill options. Like, he can read you with a smash attack or whatever, and he can combo out of stuff like Boomerang into forward air or down tilt, but... And apparently yeah. Nair into F-Tilt at 200%. That's a kill move. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> F-Tilt, that'll do it. Um... But it's what you can see a lot of when you see a Young Link game is people just living to outrageous percents. Definitely. You're, you're right. He, he does have to get a couple of those, the arrows into down tilt, into up as you said. to get to get get That's like his bread and butter kill option. But grabs the ledge there, But Gerald. there's a lot of setup that needs that's to right. happen. Yeah, that's right. So, Gerald looking actually quite good Gerald here. Gerald just running at him constantly. No time for duck and weave. He is just pushing forwards. Yeah. As you said, Booty Me, a uh, very uh, aggressive player, and he's even playing the Young Link in an aggressive manner, not spacing out, not playing that campy style. No, he's not trying to run away from Incineroar too hard. He's trying to stay at sort of a mid-range and see what his projectiles are going to do for him. Did take that push forward. Yeah, he took the stock there with the last hit of the upbeat to recover. Um, unfortunately, he does have a little bit of misinput there, but he does the tech in place and get, manages to survive there. He's Off gonna stage. And he's going to be saved by the bomb, probably. Yeah, yeah there it is. So that's the hard part about like dealing with Young Link or Link's recoveries or whatever else, because like as much as they're pretty linear, he's only got one move that's actually going to get him back to stage. He's, if he's got a bomb in hand, you've got to edge guard him twice. That's at right. Least. Yeah. Oh, dash attack nearly oh takes the game goodness. there. So Booty in a very very comfortable position right now. He's overlapped him in damage. He's just got to find that last kill move to take the first game. Oh, oh God! Up smash catches. Just catching jumping in with the up smash. 
Unreal. Up here? Young Link up B, absolutely ridiculous. Like, you can't dodge it. You just have to respect it. You just I think that should do it, yeah. yeah. Close boomerang, always going to confirm into a kill, whether it's forward air, up air, up B, whatever you like, really. And that close boomerang is surprisingly safe once you once you use it. Yeah, like it here. is quite safe on shield as well. Um, the other links share that distinction as well. Like, mm. they all have that close... If you hit a boomerang close up, they get a lot of damage out of it. Definitely. I think we saw him using... A lot of the time he was using the boomerang into fair, mm. racking up that easy damage. Yeah, About 30% yeah. 30, 30 percent with, yeah. with that combo. So... Young Link very scary because it just racks up so much damage. Um, it's it's just insane. So it looks like we're having a bit of a controller change here. I'm guessing that uh, Gerald might be changing character. I'm not too sure. It might be because he put them in wrong in the first place and Possibly, decided yeah. not to restart the match, <laughs> or he's playing a different character, as you say. It could be either one. Yep. Um, I won't be surprised to see a character swap. Like Young Link definitely looks like a very tough matchup for Incineroar. Uh, it's just so mobile. Projectiles will give him hell. Like it just, he managed to take two stocks out of three, which is very impressive, honestly. Because it's not an easy thing to catch a young link. Who's yeah, definitely. I definitely felt like okay. Gerald swapping to young link actually. No. Oh no, they, they swapped sides. My apologies. Sides yeah. By accident. Yeah. Okay. No, nah, we're sticking to it. Sticking to the Incineroar versus Young Link. Yeah. I think I one thing that I, l I like to see that Gerald do a little bit more is using, like you said, use those revenge stacks. Um, you know, of course, Booty Meat wasn't using too many projectiles, mixing it up a little bit, so he can't get those easy revenge stacks, but still would be a cool thing to, to see. But, you know, Booty Meat, of course, playing out of his mind uh, to, to take that first game. Yeah, so. just to see Gerald be a bit more threatening, like, if he is getting in. Because he didn't... Oh, he's got oh. clipped by the bomb right by the ledge. That's that is unfortunate. so unfortunate. You hate to see that. That sucks. And it's in a row, just the most mediocre recovery. Like, it doesn't take a lot to stuff him. Ooh, great parry. Great parry he on the down smash. He doesn't get a lot out of it, yeah. but he's done well. Oh, uh, falling fair. Another great combo tool for Young Link. Um, it would just drag them into whatever sort of move you want, really. There's that side B. Catches him again. I think that's only the second one of the match. Going for the spike. And he doesn't need to go for an option like that to get back into the game here. He, he's looking to bring it back he's definitely a bit worried about having lost his stock so early yeah and in that sort of situation the pressure is on him to make something happen boomy is pretty happy to sit back wait for him to pick an option punish him for it yeah and uh, uh I, I think like the thing that um boomy is doing really really well here is just like zoning him out now because boomy recognizes that he's in a really good uh, position to mm. you know, he doesn't have to do anything crazy he can just like you camp him out a little bit, drill out that three percent. Oh, oh as I goodness. say, that gets caught you by just the just gets called out. Ah, uh, ouch. Okay, so disregard that. It looks like uh, <laughs> it's it's still obviously, of course, in Booty Meat's favor. We've hit him with that nair into um, f uh, fair, but getting back into it, Gerald. Just oh my! So goodness. many projectiles to weave around. It's so difficult for, especially a big boy like Incineroar with no mobility. Like, just catches him. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So it's the one thing you always got to be watched. Like, if you're within a certain range of instant roll, he's likely to side B, and you just got to be ready to react to it, basically. Oh. Catch him with a second hit of fair, taking the stock, and booting me. Yeah, oh. no oh. confirm necessary, just sort of uh, caught and pressing buttons. Yeah, pretty much. Sort of what happens a lot in this game is that people just love to press their buttons. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so anyone who's actually able to whiff punish anything is going to do super well. There's that revenge uh, stack. Oh, unfortunate. Untrue combo. Definitely going to get revenged. Ah, Second here we stack. Go. Yep. That was such a save. Oh. Great way. Great job by Budami getting out of the way of that side. Yeah, that perfect, probably would have stopped. Perfect spacing to stay out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and Jared really is swinging for the fences with these smash attacks. Like, he's landed a couple of them now, so he reckons he's got a good read on where Budami wants to be, and he's just throwing it out. It's, it's unfortunate that um, Gerald's first thought... Oh, no. Uh, gets he had shield up. How did that happen? I think he just tried to either try to parry that second hit to try and get the... Oh, uh, it would have been ideal if he could, yeah, for 